all right you are welcome again we have been talking about ordinary differential equation and in this lesson we're going to take example on formation of ordinary differential equation now let's take a look at this example we have to form a differential equation corresponding to this function y is equal to a exponential bx we have to form a differential equation corresponding to this function y is equal to a exponential bx is that true yes now let's take a look at this very well we have constants here and a major concern is to remove this constant so at the end of removing this constant we are going to have our differential equation so the question is how many constants is involved then we see that we have a and b so two constants involved this tells us how many times to differentiate this okay so we have a and b as constant so we want to remove this a and b in this equation or in this function so that we are going to have a function with differential coefficient and the constant will not be involved so thereby we call it a differential equation now let's go let me show you exactly what i'm talking about we have y is equal to a exponential bx let's simply call this equation one okay good now the first thing we're going to do let's differentiate this function so when we differentiate y is going to give us dy dx and here we have a exponential bx when we differentiate this a exponential bx so b that is at the power is going to come down so we're going to have a b exponential bx this is the first derivative all right good now as we have the first derivative let's call this equation one you get it right now let's try to do something here you know we have a b exponential bx and then you discover that the difference between this and the first equation is the b that is involved now right now let's put b by the side and put a exponential bx in a bracket let's write it like this we're going to have the all over the x is equal to b over bracket a exponential bx is that true now you discover that we just figured out a exponential bx and a exponential bx is the same as equation one so let's replace a exponential bx with equation one which is y let's substitute for y so when we do so we're going to have dy dx is equal to b y after substitution we have dy dx is equal to b y let's call this equation three now you discover that we have two constants and we need to differentiate two times the reason why i substituted this early is to make our work easier all right good now we have dy dx is equal to b y let's differentiate the second time so when we differentiate dy dx we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared that is the second derivative and then we have by let's differentiate by when we differentiate by we're going to have b dy dx that is when you differentiate y it's going to give you dy dx multiplied by b we may use of product rule all right good so the second derivative is giving us the square y all over dx squared equal to b dy dx we can simply call this equation four all right yes now 
look at this. Are you seeing what we are having here? We see that one constant is eliminated. A is no more, right? Now we are left with B. Now let's see what we are going to do. Let's go back to equation 3. Equation 3 says dy dx is equal to by. From this place, let's try and make b the subject. Let's make b the subject of the formula. So that means we are going to divide both sides by y or we multiply both sides by 1 all over y. You get it right? You multiply both sides by 1 all over y so that b will stand alone. So if you do so, we are going to have b is equal to dy dx multiplied by 1 all over y. We are going to have b is equal to dy dx multiplied by 1 all over y. Is that true? Good. So here now we have the true value of b. Now in equation 4, we can replace this value that we have for b. We can replace it in the place of b hello here now we know a new value for b we can substitute for b in equation 4 now let's do that we have in equation 4 d squared y all over dx squared equal to b dy all over dx so in the place of b we are going to replace it with dy dx multiplied by 1 over y let's do that so we're going to have the squared y all over dx squared equal to in place of b now we have dy all over dx times 1 over y in bracket then we have multiplied by dy dx okay so here we have d squared y all over dx squared equal to dy dx multiply by 1 all over y in bracket multiply by dy dx you know this is multiplication right let's combine them together so when we say dy dx multiply by dy dx outside what are we going to have we're going to have dy dx in bracket squared hello we're going to have dy dx in bracket squared that is when we say dy dx multiply by dy dx, okay? Then we have multiply by 1 all over y, okay? So here we have d squared y all over dx squared equal to dy dx in bracket squared times 1 all over y. You know, here we're having 1 all over y. You get it right? It is a fraction. So we want to remove this 1 all over y. So that means we are going to multiply both sides by y. We will multiply both sides by y, then y in the right hand side will disappear. So that means we are going to have the squared y all over dx squared multiplied by y is equal to dy dx in bracket squared times 1 all over y times y. So when you say 1 all over y times y, it's going to give you y all over y, which is equal to 1. Then 1 times dy all over dx squared is going to give you the same thing, all right? Good. So in the left-hand side, we are going to have y, d squared y all over dx squared equal to dy dx in bracket squared. Now let's take the value in the right-hand side to the left. So we're going to have y, d squared y all over dx squared minus dy dx in bracket squared equal to 0. So this is a differential equation corresponding to the function or the equation y is equal to a exponential bx. All right? Yes. Please, I want you to watch this gradually. All right? Yes. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel, help us and subscribe. Like and share our videos. Stay blessed.